But uh, before, as I was saying, I was a DJ. Okay. Yes, so uh, like when I played in clubs, the music that I could feel I'm really making people dance was on. Uh -huh. So I, I grew up to love it more. Then I thought maybe if I just I do gom, exactly, like if I do gom on the other side, <laughs> DJing and doing gom at the same time okay. will do good. All and right. I'm, because you are saying that you've been playing in clubs, in parties, and other places as well. Can we talk about sextortion, sexism that's there in the art industry? What's your what's your suggestion about? What's your view about it? Is it there or it's just a myth? Uh, what I can say is, uh, personally, I've never came across that, but I know it's there. Mm -hmm. If you hear people talking about it, it's something that's there. What I can say to them is. I think uh, we need to focus as women. Okay. Yes. Um, a lot of people tend to uh, undermine women in the arts industry mostly uh, because when you look at a woman, you might think she's uh, you. You might think a man is better than a woman when they're doing something. Maybe when they're on stage. Uh, now that a lot of women are now in the arts industry, what I can tell them is. Uh, we need to focus. Uh, focus on your career. I don't mind about the other things that happen on your side. Just keep on focused and I like what you do. Okay, yes. so in this industry, there is what we call extortion mm. of sex easy, whereby we get to find red carpet or coach interviews. So, Mopi, in this, what can you say? What can we do? I heard you saying that as women, we should be be doing this, we should be doing this. What can you do? What advice can you give to women who are in the arts industry facing coach interviews, red carpets interviews? And I think they shouldn't tolerate that personally. I think, okay. yes, all right, they should be brave enough, they should be, they should stand by their words, they should focus, as I said, okay. they should, uh, they, they should keep. That thing, a a give or like, if you're telling yourself, what I'm this and I'm not gonna do this or I'm this, I will do this. Yes, you have to. Wonderful. Yes, movie. that's Wonderful. what I can say to them. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes. I hear you. So, um, talking about you, mm -hmm. like going back to your career, your music, mm -hmm. being the gong queen, being the DJ. What can we expect from you uh, in in the next, say, five years? Uh, okay. You can just say future. What can you expect? From okay, you? you should expect more collaborations okay. from here, Zim and South Africa. My wish is to collaborate with someone outside the country, South Africa, where home uh, generated from. Okay. Yes, so that's what um, I'm seeing in the future. I'm seeing myself collaborating with a lot of artists because okay. collabs are good. All right. Uh, yes. And uh, so far, um, this year, I'm working on my album, Indie of Gazi album. Mm -hmm. And I can't give you the date, I'm not yet sure when it's okay. going to be out. Right. But um, I'm working on it, and as soon it will be out. Okay, that's wonderful, yes. Mopi. Thank you so much for joining us here. Can you please tell us where can we find Mopi in any social media? Platforms? Okay, uh, Instagram at Sweet Mopi. Facebook page at Sweet Moby, Twitter at Sweet Moby, and even on YouTube 
Okay. Yes. So that was your girl, Moby, your DJ, your gold queen in Zimbabwe, in Brawa. You will join us again next time on Hashtag Heaven's Day. Remember, we believe that women are natural and without them, nothing grows into maturity until we meet again. Come on, Dilapa. Come on, Dilapa. Come on, Dilapa. Come on, Dilapa.